Don't worry, I'm not here to talk to you about what procrastination is. I don't assume that you've been living under a rock and don't know what procrastination looks like. I want to talk about the why. See, tips given on how to be productive in a certain area of life are usually given by people who have been productive in that area for a long, long time. They're the experts, right? They can teach us how to be productive. Now, the thing is that one of the most frequently given tips is don't procrastinate, don't be lazy, just get off the couch and just do it. If only it were that easy, right? See, here's the thing that I want to talk to you about. Why is an overweight person who's trying to lose weight and struggling with it still overweight? Is it because it's physically impossible for us to drink water instead of Coke? Is it because we intellectually don't understand that eating an apple is a healthier choice than eating a bar of chocolate? From the way I phrased these, you can already tell that my answer is no. No, that's not the reason that we're still overweight. Of course, it's really hard to establish good habits for long-lasting change, to break bad habits, turn them into good habits, and get the change from there. That is hard in and of itself. I'm not going to downplay that at all. But the thing is, an overweight person may be struggling with losing weight, but may be really successful in other areas of life. They may be really good at their jobs. They may have healthy, functional families that they contributed to. They may be able to keep their house clean at all times, or most times. They may be really good at things and they know how to establish healthy and good habits and how to be successful at certain things. So it doesn't really make sense that a person like that would be struggling to lose weight even though they understand that drinking water is good and that eating broccoli is probably helpful and that going for a walk or a sprint or a run is going to be better than sitting on the couch and watching TV. So the answer is that when we're procrastinating things that we actually really want to do, there's a really good reason for it. And it's not because we're lazy. It's not because we don't understand how to do these things. It is because there's something holding us back. It's some kind of mental block. It's an inner resistance. And from everything that I've learned so far about the mind and how it works and the power of thoughts and the subconscious and the conscious brain and all of these things, I understand that there may be things in our past that shaped us the, the, the way that we behave today that we're not really aware of. Something that m maybe happened to when we were a kid and we learned how to cope with certain situations and they helped us back then, but they're not really helping us now. So there are patterns that we learn that we picked up that are just not serving us anymore. And procrastination is just something that we do to keep us safe, that we do to stay in a comfortable place for now. Doesn't mean that it's good for us because maybe we're putting off things that would be beneficial to us in the future. And maybe we even understand that sitting on the couch and not doing the thing that we're dreading to do is helpful but something is holding us back. And so we need to go soul searching. We need to go figure out what it is. We kind of need to tackle it and we need to heal from it. And that's a lot of work and it's very uncomfortable and it is definitely something that is a target to be procrastinated as well. So I understand the irony of that. To be procrastination, you may be procrastinating the thing that you need to do to be able to get there. Did that make sense? You're procrastinating the thing that makes you beat procrastination. So what I'm saying is that if you need help with that, go look for it. Go look for maybe some kind of life coaching. If you're on Instagram, follow the hashtag self healers. That's a good start. Just so much stuff to learn from. And, you know, just you can get help and you just have to, if you believe at all in the power of your mind, look for it. It's... I can only recommend it. So yes, that's what I want to say to you procrastinators, to us procrastinators out there. It's not that we procrastinate things because we're lazy or because we don't understand that these things would be good for us or help in any way. It doesn't have to do with any of that. It's just that something is holding you back. You have to figure out what it is and then you can thrive in that area as you can in other areas that you don't really feel you have a problem with. 
Because here's the thing that a lot of non-procrastinators don't really get. And I, I say non-procrastinators, even though I think we are all probably procrastinating some aspects, but some of us are really trapped and we are really procrastinating things that we actually want to be doing and that are fun for us. I procrastinate making art, but whenever it is that I do sit down and draw, I do enjoy myself. And I actually can get very easily into a state of flow whenever it is that I'm sitting down to create. It's very easy for me and it's still something that I dread doing. And I'm slowly understanding the pattern where that came from and why it is that I have this mental resistance. So something that people who don't struggle with procrastination a lot, they don't understand that it even happens that we procrastinate things that are actually fun and that we want to be doing. And that should tell you that this is just mental resistance. It's just nothing physical. It's not that we don't understand it. It's not a conscious thing. It is subconscious all the way. So please, people who are very productive in a certain area, don't tell people to stop procrastinating and stop being lazy. Tell them maybe to get help with your procrastination or try to work through it, but don't tell them just snap out of it. That's not how it works. That's a quick and easy fix and maybe it'll work for three days, but then you're back where you started. It's just not going to help long term. It is a much harder and more soul searching process than you might think it is. And so just don't tell people that they're lazy. That's hardly ever the case for when people don't get off their butts to do something. So that's the thought that I wanted to leave you with. I hope you'll have a wonderful week.